What is going on guys? It is your boy and we are back with some more card reveals. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, things. I see some skills. You guys already know when I get, you guys know when I see skills, I get a little moist inside. And if you get a little bit moist inside, make sure you guys follow and subscribe. It's reveal season, baby. So uh, usually there will be less decks uploaded and there will be more of this so we can talk and discuss what's coming into the game. I, I might, uh, I, I'm working on something else as well, so it's not like uh, probably have a, uh, a gameplay video out tomorrow, but I really wanted to address these cards. So let's get into it. First up is going to be The Witness. Flow, I cost two less, play, stun an enemy. Two, so we got a, a p p possible, right? Two Possible. Two cost three three that stuns an enemy and it's a skill. I mean, <laughs> I'm moist with gin. I, I I have gin tingling right now because that's so good. Because uh, as you guys know, flow happens to count for skills as well. So not only can this now, since it is a as again, we're getting more cards that work with gin gin's package. And I I feel like every other fucking thing that I I, I talk about, like I I do watch other people's reactions right after I do mine. Uh, and I feel like no one's talking about Jin. <laughs> no one is mentioning that, hey, that new card that uh, w that works with the equipment and attack, boom, Jin has another card you can add into the deck. Jin's deck is expanding as well. <laughs> and I feel like people need to uh, look at that and realize that, that his deck is actually expanding as well. And also, this one is actually for the more stunned, like the Leona archetype, which we've known it and I've shown. Oh, no, I didn't show you guys the, the fun stuff. Should I show you something fun? Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see something actually fun with Leona. I can show you something fun that I feel like uh, people aren't uh, haven't either haven't shown or just hasn't been uh, really out there. So yes, uh, if you guys want to see something funny, I'll, I'll show you. The next card is going to be the Spirit of Wuju, and its flow costs two less, so potentially a three mana four three. When I'm summoned, draw a spell. This is amazing. Uh, so Yi's archetype is getting stronger. He's getting stronger, stronger, <laughs> and. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts how strong I think the Yi, the flow archetype is going. And that's not necessarily just Yi, it's just because his package comes in there with it. But like the more cards that do that and the more skills that are in the game, I find I find that anything that involves skills, I actually think it's better because skills are usually, they usually can be triggered multiple times, right? I feel like sometimes a spell, uh, you're gonna run out of spells unless you have cards that generate spells, which is, this also is making me think of uh, like a Yi Victor deck, right? Which already exists in the game, right? But that's already been uh, explored. But the more cards that they add on to it, then it makes it a little bit better. Uh, when I'm summoned, draw a spell, and then you have to also then go back into the, the crypt <laughs> and all the new cards and some of the old cards, there might be some new archetypes. And this is why I think that when they nerf cards right off the bat, or or when they do stuff and like this thing is too busted or whatever i i don't know i feel a little hesitant because i feel like maybe maybe their people are just playing a deck like I, and i go back to this and and you could you could be controversial with me all day but Kaiza, I feel like she was strong, but I also feel like not that many people try to actively counter her. I feel like they were more actively playing whatever the hell they wanted to do and just would be annoyed that Kaiza's deck was so strong. And I think that's the same thing with, again, come at my neck. I think the same thing with Linami. Like there's, there are a bunch of decks that are strong, but I also feel like there's people that don't actually tech their decks for that stuff. And yes, having a couple one-offs or two-offs, three-offs, whatever, uh, to counter a card doesn't mean you'll draw into them, but it, it, it does make me wonder, like, would that actually change how effective that deck is if people started running XYZ card like mini morph? Does Lee Sin deck just crumble when everyone has mini morph in their deck? Like everyone just running a Bandle, a, the strongest Bandle City deck to run mini morph, and then they always have an answer for it. Same thing with uh, Vengeance, is everyone just running Shadow Isles. This new, um, this thing, I don't know if you guys want, maybe I'll, I'll do a commentary over it and just talk about the place for the next season or something like that because I'm very curious on like what happens when people have answers to the deck they know that you're bringing <laughs> it's a different art it's different right so next card unworthy soul flow I cost two less recall a unit or landmark if it has any attachments destroy them first so that's fantastic that is going to be able to counter all the equipment stuff that we're seeing right now and that's great and then I can recall that Varus and his bow breaks but then that's pointless don't don't use it on anything dark and that has auto equip because they'll just make another one <laughs> especially the bow the bow is actually the one of the ones that doesn't make because it doesn't actually stack like uh, the darkened scythe does right the scythe actually kind of keeps it stacks and the bow it just keeps resetting itself so it doesn't matter but potentially this is still a two mana no sorry three mana uh, a three mana um recall on a unit so you can use it on your own stuff and you can use it on their stuff and it actually is flexible to actually go for landmarks as well this is an amazing thing for ionia uh and this is triple ionia but it's all wuju stuff right so I, I still don't think that they're revealing a champion i mean 
I don't think that they're dropping five champions, by the way. I do think that it's going back to like three. So I feel like this is double day. This is two days of just extra cards. And then I think that uh, the next, like tomorrow, I do think that they're gonna drop a champion or a champion like package or something like that. So again, we don't have anything to predict. And there's one more page. Okay, we got some more. And then we have the Dragon Caller, six mana, round start, flow, summon the Imperium. And I hate these cards. <laughs> Infirian, in, in, cause that's an I, right? Empyrean, yeah. And granted, a ferial. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? There's too many stupid things. Um, I think that's a card in the game already though. Uh, let me double check. Everything, uh, like everything here is flow. Like what the hell? Oh, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, what? I just read that real quick, hold on. If I'm not mistaken, that card is a Ionian card. I think it's like a high, drop card if i think yeah this thing i was like I, I feel like it's this so you get to summon this it's a seven cost six five and with recall you could just put it back into your deck uh into your hand or whatever like that i don't think you'll do that you're probably just waiting for the swing um so six cost card that summons a seven cost card as long as you keep activating flow so not only do you have a big chungus <laughs> It's an elusive, so you have a, a round start elusive blocker. So it's kind of like, it's, right, it's like Eye of the Dragon on crack, right? It's, but you get an elusive blocker every turn on your defensive turns, and you get an elusive attacker on your offensive turns. I really like this card. This is looking flow is great. And why is flow great? Because Varus Yi seems really good now. Like I, I'm <laughs> I'm looking at Varus Yi and I'm thinking I'm I'm getting I'm getting goosebumps right now because it looks like it's gonna be kind of nuts. But what I'm also noticing. <laughs> Are you guys not also seeing something that I'm seeing? I actually am starting to think that maybe maybe there's going to be a flow champion. Um, we just, uh, and uh, let me go through this, right? Uh, Dark and Harp, I don't even know that they, how many, what, they got instruments, they got weapons. Uh, flow, 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 flow. And then this guy over here, I just noticed is flow as well. Oh, and that's, oh, this, this, this <laughs> oh my God. And this is Victor, what is this, Victor Yi? Cause it's all this flow stuff, all Ionia, and then this thing is uh, PNZ. Holy crap, dude. And this looks nuts, right? So uh, this one is a plus two, it's a, and another, now now again, this is this is an amazing weapon because before the Gatalus was like kind of the only, well, let me just check, cause you know, you guys know me. I take eight years to do everything. I, I just like to talk. Uh, that's why I'm able, people are like, how can you commentate so long? It's like, bro, I just like talking. Like I just, I could talk all freaking day. Um, so yes, the Gatalus, and this is good because the more equipments they flesh out, obviously like even the more attached, if they make more attached units for entire Targon or even in other regions, it would be great. So now we have, instead of just being the Gatalus, which is a really good one for PNZ anyway, but now you have a two mana one. So now, now some of the other equip stuff that we saw before, uh, you can now utilize that a little bit earlier. To the, and I think all the Darken weapons, by the way, are all supposed to be two calls. I think that's just how it's written. <laughs> it, it, it has been written. And that's just how it is. Uh, and, it, and if at eight mana, then you can draw this, which this looks absolutely nuts. And it's like, yeah, and then you're looking at TF, right? Uh, attack, draw two, then reduce those cards cost by two. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so good. Oh, that's so good. Ah, uh, what you could do with that is nuts. Like, just imagine. Um, I'm just thinking, just off my ass, right? So let's just say you have it in a rally deck. You have this card with Demacia, and uh, you for some reason can just rally, and you draw two, reduce the cost by two. Now all of a sudden you draw another rally, and it's like a two cost. And we all know that the rallies in the game rally. Really? Oh, because I have it on. No, no, no. I, I want them all. I want all the rally. Uh, imagine. I mean, if you have level Katarina, she'd be a two cost, and then you play her again if she's for some reason was leveled and then died, and then you have another one in hand. Echo is just because of his field spell, which is not that bad of a thing, especially if you predict it or something like that. I do think Echo is going to make a comeback. I don't know in this expansion, but I do think that uh, his lowering his prediction and then having all these spells and generating stuff, I do think Echo will eventually come back. Uh, Scion is, no, that, that's gonna work. Galio, not really. Garen, not really. I'm looking for mostly like the spell. So we have like this, boom, the Playful Trickster uh, off this though. But Playful Trickster, if you were to draw this, it's a, uh, and it's actually in uh, Bilgewater. So maybe you hope to draw this and that's boom, two mana. If you do this, this is a two mana, give a barrier rally, kind of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just just kind of nuts and this one the two mana give one plus one plus one and and rally this one is the uh, noxus this one uh bilgewater so bilgewater actually has two just saying 
and this one is like I said, this is a uh, PNZ one, uh, which but still, I, th I think that I think you can do, definitely do a bilge water ride. Like this this becomes a three mana thing, and then also uh, I'll even say, remember now that you have the the new landmark, not the new landmark, but the uh, thing that makes things lurk that you could actually possibly run this and the other card because the other landmark the reason why i haven't made a deck on it is because it just like it just makes anything lurk so it doesn't you don't even need to necessarily run lurk units in the deck it will just start turning things lurk anyway so you can get a good hit and then also what's nice about that is that you could maybe run that and then still run this as well and your opponent has no idea whether or not you drew this or didn't draw it right and then also this uh any reputation cards would be really good with that card as well right because reputation like this one would go down to six and then this becomes a four mana when i'm summon rally there's a lot of cool things plunder this becomes a four mana heal allies and access rally this becomes a six mana card like i actually think that like and, I, and that's why i'm specifically saying attack right because he would attack and then he would draw again and then attack and then draw again because nine times out of ten you just played eight mana uh you're not you're, it's the next turn that i'm talking about so you have a plethora of mana you can open attack into possibly drawing into a rally um and, and it just sounds nuts and then also you have stuff like cataclysm right like i actually like i think demacia would be nuts because you have cataclysm and you could really start drawing into some stuff and since it's attack also as soon as he attacks you could just draw into an answer right a close combat concerted strike i, I think that I, I would love to see pnz uh demacia for this card then they just have the zon bouncer which is the like i saw really cool round start flow refill two spell mana and again this could be off skills but getting two mana back every turn is insane i actually think that this this reveal and i thought the first one was good <laughs> The first one was good. It had that one bad card, right? It had that one really crappy card. This one is phenomenal. Uh, this one, they, they're adding so many cards and supporting so many older archetypes that I, I just can't be anything but shocked and awed. But it does make me think, oh, that crack was serious. It does make me think maybe they're thinking about a flow champion right i've been hearing some rumblings about seraphin right that maybe seraphin is coming into the game also that would make sense with the darkened harp i guess she doesn't i don't think she plays a harp she plays like a uh like an electric piano but like uh maybe that would be sona and sona i think would actually make sense with like uh like a wandering because i don't know what the hell she does <laughs> I think she's she's like a mute that just plays music. So maybe they make her like a bard that she runs around, and then you can put any card in your deck that has flow. And that that my friends, that would be spicy. The the card pool would be low, but then you would be able to if they add more stuff because obviously the card that champion would then have their own package, right? You'd have a bunch of the stuff from from Ionia, but then if they make more from other regions, which is also cool for other regions to get flow access to flow because other regions play spell too. Like a Targon flow card would be amazing. Um, they play a lot of spells and then you can even maybe think of different things Sharima flow would probably break the game and I like breaking games but <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys like this video I'm actually I was uh, more excited than I thought because you know when, when you look at it from here you just like you don't really get the grips of it. actually I can't even read it from here right so I, I at this point I thought it was just four cards I was like bro what am I gonna talk about and just from the first card the first page alone just blew my mind out of the water like this card is so good if the equipments get a little bit out of hand Ioni is having way more answers and I know Ionia makes the game boring it, it slows the game down but i actually don't care i love when the game it, you have reasons and counters to do stuff ye victor looking spicy barkeep nonsensical stuff what is your favorite card that it was revealed so far do you think this is a uh, good healthy for the game because if you have this generating a nefarial unit every turn you have the eye of the dragon doing it too death mark becomes really 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 good uh it comes really really good especially when you can't spell death Oh, wait, why did it go from there? I clicked. What? what? Okay. Just make me look stupid. Uh, Death Mark. Yeah, so if you can constantly generate them on a regular basis, on a consistent basis, hey, you can now have a three mana. That that unit dies. <laughs> Ionia is looking pretty scary, man. I I, I think that Ionia is one of the better, uh, like, supporty things, but I actually feel like if they keep getting support in a new champion or something like that, you, you definitely would see it rise up a little bit more than just Irelia right now. And I always said that Shen's pretty good too, right? I say that Shen's package is really good. And if they improve Yi, there it is. My man Victor Dictor is in the building, man. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. I, I could talk for days and hours, uh, but I need to stop. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.